this this isn't a uniform. You know, this is my own clothes. I've turned up like most of the Jacobites here. I've turned up my own clothes. Um, I've also dressed myself for a winter campaign, which the 45 is. Also, you know, I am wealthy enough to have a sword. I'm actually most Jacobites wouldn't have, even have a sword. I have a, a basket broadsword, back sword, because I'm a gentleman. I can afford one, I can afford sword training. So I'm showing that I can afford this. I have a musket. Uh, most of the Jacobite troops actually have muskets. These are French. Most of the Jacobite troops would have been supplied with French or Spanish muskets, and they would have flooded over the winter of 1744, 1745, they would have flooded places like Aberdeen, uh, Montrose, Pierhead, sending ships and supplying the Jacobites with money, gunpowder, ball, and these muskets. So as I said, most of the Jacobite army had probably more muskets than they actually had men. They could be quite disciplined. Um, they had many of the officers Many of the Highland officers, and you have to remember that the Jacobite army only, only half of the Jacobite army is actually Highlanders by the time of Claude. The rest are made up. The rest are made up of Lowlanders, French, and Irish, and some English. And Spanish. And, and one Spaniard. And Spaniard. Exactly. Many of the, the officers in the Jacobite army had actually served fighting for the French in the continent or had actually served time in the British Army, so they were well disciplined, they knew how to train troops. At the Battle of Falkirk, the McDonald's actually stopped the government charge by forming a line and dissolving a musket volley. So these guys were actually trained how to use their muskets.